this is a, a flag that actually flew on the tank that I, that I commanded in Vietnam. Uh, you can see it in this picture fly in there. Once Ken Pollock graduated high school in 1965, the Vietnam War was underway and he went to a recruiter and asked to be put in a tank. He says, well, well, if you realize that the tanks is a combat unit, you're going to end up in Vietnam most likely. I said, well, you know, I got a pretty good feeling no matter what I do, I'm going to end up in Vietnam. So I want something with uh, armor plate and mobility and a lot of guns. <laughs> After a few months of training, he'd be sent to Vietnam with the 1st Marine Division, 1st Tank Battalion. The objective of our group was not to engage anyway. You know, we, we weren't out there to, to pick a fight. We were out there to gather information. However, the North Vietnamese started to ramp up their efforts in 1968 with the Tet Offensive. We were told to prepare for uh, stepping up our advancements to engage in, in firefights and that sort of thing. And that would happen when Ken's group came in contact with the enemy. So there was like three or four guys in a, in a trench out in the open, and they started shooting at us as we advanced towards the site. And thought, boy, this is silly. These guys are, are being sacrificed. That's when a flame tank in front of Ken's gun tank went to clear a path to move forward. Well, about the time he was getting ready to light up his torch, he got hit with an RPG. The fight continued, and Ken knew that the driver in front of him needed help. He was he was hurt pretty bad and, and couldn't get out of there. And I said, Lieutenant, I, I, we got to get that guy out of there. He says, well, what do you want to do? I says, I'll go get him. Pulled him out of there and... Uh, he was badly wounded, but still alive, which was a good thing. Ken's efforts would earn him the Bronze Star. He would move up the ranks and eventually become a sergeant. He adds that he's fortunate to have made it back home safely and proud to be a Marine. We live by the motto, Semper Fidelis. He's always faithful, faithful to God, family, and the Corps in that order.